everyone hello nice to meet you um so this video is gonna be about crutches um hacks on crutches broken legs whatever um it was requested by this person so shout out to them for making a video request um <clears throat> a little side note this morning i woke up and i was feeling like kind of hopeless um about my weight loss journey um because it's been like a year, about a year since I started this channel and I have not lost weight or made any lifestyle changes. And I'm just really disappointed in myself, but um, waking up and going through all of your comments and seeing um, all of the positivity really kind of helped me get up and make another video because I was just gonna lay in bed all day today like I did yesterday. Um, but um, like I said, thank you guys for all the comments all the positivity because I really need that in my life right now and also to the 11 subscribers I just gained so like 27 subscribers special if you know what I mean um but yeah let's get into the video so when it comes to a broken leg there are generally three rules that your doctor will give you and that is don't walk on the cast don't stick anything in there to scratch yourself and don't go on the stairs with crutches I have broken all three of those rules um, the first one obviously is don't stick your anything in there to scratch your leg I don't know who can go six weeks or eight weeks without scratching a part of their body because that person is not me so I found this arrow I don't know what you're thinking an arrow it's sharp it's dangerous I don't use the pointy side obviously I use this side, it's the side that would have um, the feathers on it, but they've been scraped off. So like this piece is like soft, it's not scratchy, it's not pointy. Um, so your doctor's gonna tell you, don't stick anything in your leg to scratch it. I did it anyway, you will do it anyway. Um, don't feel bad about it, everyone does it. Uh, it just like feels so good to get in there and scratch it. So this is just really long, so it reaches like all the way to my ankle from the cast. Um, I've never, I mean, I assume I haven't cut myself on it. Uh, and it's just very, I recommend finding yourself something small and cylindrical that's long enough and that is not sharp. You need like a kind of a blunt, smooth end. Um, that'll be my first, it's not really a hack, it's just something that you will do. Um, I just want to say don't feel bad about it because I did it and I stole this from my brother so that I could use it in my cast. Um, I don't know if he's going to want it back after these six weeks. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing I would say. Hack number two or advice number two is um, your wardrobe is going to be severely limited if you have a broken leg. Um, you can't wear your jeans anymore, your skinny jeans, it doesn't work. Um, I personally don't own any loose jeans or boot cut jeans, it's just not really in my style. Um, if you have those, it might work. It'll look weird, but it might work. Um, your really tight leggings are not gonna work. Uh, I know since it's nice out, it's starting to warm up, you can wear shorts, dresses, skirts things like that but for me as a plus size lady um though i do wear dresses it's not always preferable because i'm not a huge fan of my legs so what i did is i went to walmart and i bought a pair of seven dollar really cheap really stretchy i got about them in a size up from my normal size and uh they're so stretchy that they fit right over the cap so you're going to want to get these really stretchy leggings. Um, you can't really tell how stretchy they are, but they're very stretchy. Um, then you're going to pull it all the way up over your cast. And that's why they need to be so, like, incredibly stretchy. Then you're just going to take your hand and kind of tuck in all the extra fabric so that you don't have a bunch of fabric bunched up um, around your knee. And you're just going to get it in there as far as you can. And then you're going to take your long cylindrical item, my arrow, for example, and you're just going to start pushing it in there and kind of straightening out the legging, pushing it down. I can push it all the way down to my ankle and just make sure that it's comfortable and it's not 
um, bunched up or like poking you or putting any pr extra pressure on your leg. And that is how I put my leggings. And I end up with a really cute seamless outfit with these leggings. So it's later in the day and I am too tired to film an outro. So here is just some photos of my x-rays. Um, another thing I wanted to say is you will need a shower chair if you've broken your leg. Um, another good thing is with tucking in your leggings, you can also do that with socks. Either for when it's cold or if you just want to hide your toes because you won't be able to clip your nails or do anything like that. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will be making a second video and putting it out very soon. Um, it's kind of a part two to this. I'm filming it in the same day. So thank everyone for watching and please subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video.